Hey there, it's Kisma from Kisma and the Dark Yogi Podcast. Today's topic is the Dark Yogi Learns to Surf. Hello, this is Kisma and welcome to Kisma and the Dark Yogi, brought to you by SourceMovement.com. We're here for people who want to be radically authentic and courageously vulnerable. So whether you're a yoga teacher, entrepreneur, or leader building a tribe, we're here to get your energy and mindset positioned for success. No more stress, no more lack of energy. It's time to lead with your full potential. Our intention is to leave the world a better place than we found it and inspire you to do the same. So hey, if this message in our podcast resonates with you and you've not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to Kisma and the Dark Yogi on iTunes. And while you're at it, give us a rating and let us know what you think. If you have someone in your life that would enjoy this conversation, share it with them. Want more information about the movement? Just go to sourcemovement.com. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy this episode of Kisma and the Dark Yogi. Well, hello there, Dark Yogi. Hello. How are you? I'm awesome. So you learned to surf. I'm learning to surf. You're learning to surf. And why would our listeners be interested in this? Well, for several reasons, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, for anybody out there who has been wanting to do something for a really long time and just hasn't done it for whatever reason, like you definitely want to stay tuned for this one. That's true. Because I remember when we moved out here to California, what, three and a half years ago? Almost three years ago. Almost three years ago. And you're like, I want to surf, I want to surf, I want to surf. And if you caught our last episode, you know that the dark yogi almost drowned. So, so there were definitely some things going on, mm-hmm. but it was like all under the surface for me. So we were, um, let's see, yeah, it's almost three years now. It's coming up on three years that we've been out here for a solid two and a half of those years. Mm-hmm. I had been like, that was one of the first things I wanted to do when I moved to California was dude, I want to learn how to surf. Like mm-hmm. I used to skateboard as a kid mm-hmm. and, it, you know, like I, I... And it kind of fits the dark yogi image thing. I guess. I mean, I didn't really think about that. I, yeah. I just wanted to you surf. To surf? Surfing's cool. cool. Like yeah. I want to do that. That looks like fun. So that was one of the first things I wanted to do. And then like a year goes by. Mm. And another year goes by. Well, I know. And, and, you know, you get busy, you get into life, things happen. We're building a business. Y- we've got lots going on. Moving like, house. Y- but Doing our freaking podcast. Right. But and, and you think like there's no reason, you know, you can make all the excuses that you want for not doing it. But at the end of the day, after two, two and a half years. Something you really wanted to do. Something I really want to do. You haven't taken action. You got to kind of like be like, what's. Investigate. What's going on, you yeah. know? So that's exactly what I did. Investigate. I started mm. to look at it. I'm like, dude, I had to get real with myself. That was the ruthless honesty part. Oh, that's I, tough. I had to get real with myself and say, dude, like, what are you, are you going to surf or are you not going to surf? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? And so I sat down and I did my inquiry mm. and I noticed like all of these things started to come up. You were like, what? Well, for one. There is definitely some fear of the ocean. Because you almost drowned. I I think that was part of it. Yeah. For sure. Um, Yeah, I did have that almost drowning experience. And like I definitely had a new respect for the ocean. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really afraid so much of swimming in it, but I still had this like, ooh, like this this is serious. This ocean is an ocean out here. Yeah, it's no joke. Mm -hmm. So there was definitely a fear of the ocean. I started to inquire, inquire deeper, deeper, and all these other things started coming up. And as I looked at it, he, like here's some of the things that came up. Number one, uh, fear of the ocean, of course, fear mm-hmm. of drowning. I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. Secondly, um, I will look stupid. Oh, that was you look. I was thinking sharks would be number that two. Was totally, I think sharks was up there. Sharks was okay, probably number it three. It was a bigger fear of how you would look than that you'd be crushed by a shark. This is fascinating <laughs> I, I just like because i had already done a little research on the shark thing uh-huh. and i knew okay. like okay like that's really pretty More people rare. die from selfies than shark attacks that's actually that's true, true. Yeah. yeah let's believe it or not 
Uh, that's the world we live in. But mm. yeah, sharks was, I think, number three. But it was kind of like, it was the things around like, well, mm. what are they, you know, I'm going to look stupid. It's going to be hard. I'm mm-hmm. going to hurt myself. You're too old. I'm too old was mm-hmm. one of them. You're too old. Like, it's all these young guys out there and you're going to look stupid and you're going to be the old guy trying to learn how to Fear surf. Fear of what others think. Anybody relate to that out there? I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. That was one for me. You know, it's a little like, I feel a little funny admitting it, but it's, that was totally Mm -hmm. true. Like I just had to admit it. Like that's what was coming up for me. Mm -hmm. So we've the most amazing processes in the world. Once this stuff is uncovered, I start to clear it. I start to clear it. Mm -hmm. I start to clear it. And you did uh, a lot of clearing. I had a lot of clearing. (laughs) I had a lot of ids. Like I had a lot of things going on there. There was the whole near death thing. A lot of stuff around that. And then definitely the things around, you know, what other people think, what other people think, going, Judgment, going yeah. to get hurt. Mm-hmm. Sharks, like I'll admit, the like, sharks were a thing. Mm-hmm. I definitely had some clearing around sharks and sea creatures and things like that. And, uh, you know, there's the rays and then there's the, mm-hmm. you know, the jellyfish or like who knows what. I don't know. There was all kinds of stuff that came up, all this stuff. Like, so I clear it, I clear it, I clear it, I clear it. I do all this clearing. I'm like, awesome. I'm surfing. Go. So I go to the local surf shop. Mm-hmm. Like not in Carlsbad. I went down to Encinitas. I was there. Oh, you know what I was doing? I was actually grabbing a cup of coffee. Oh. And I think even that morning, I had just kind of done another round of clearing stuff. I went down to my favorite coffee shop. Ironsmith. Ironsmith. Yeah, they make mm-hmm. the Famous most. shout out. Oh, Ironsmith and Encinitas. Irons, oh, they make the most amazing flat white. Mm-hmm. So I get my coffee. And I'm driving back up and right there at Encinitas surf, surf Shop. And I'm like, you know, like I just totally like peel out. I think I crossed a couple of lanes and I'm like, I'm stopping now. Right. Mm-hmm. So I stop and I go in and I meet the, you know, meet, meet the owner or, uh, or whoever was on duty there. And I'm like, man, I, I want to surf. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Sell me a surfboard. Like, so <laughs> I just tell me what to buy. I'll buy it. Right. Right now. And I'm ready. Right. Because for me, when you're ready to commit or even before you're ready to commit when you put some money behind something you're gonna do it and invest you you have like such a such a it's like an instant right dedication it, it ju- yeah it just like it really puts an energy behind it that like you're moving now you're mm-hmm. invested man you're going mm-hmm. so i was like i'm ready man i don't know what it i don't care what it costs just you can set do me it. up with a board and <laughs> it was so great though the guy's like classic surfer right he's like whoa <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> wait did he do that Hang, hang loose. loose. He did not. No, that's no. That he just didn't. went well. No, he was just like, okay. He was really sweet about it. He's like, oh, okay. Like, I get it. Like, that's great. Why don't we try this? Uh-huh. And he says, because he probably, if I could just insert, you came in all pumped up on your flat white caffeine. <laughs> yeah, probably, I was probably a little. And he's like, chill. He's like, whoa. And you're man. like, dude, I want to buy a board now. And Sell you got your coffee. <laughs> Sell it to me. He's like, oh, I've seen this before. It's not going to go well, right? But what a cool business owner, right? Yeah, he could have made right. a he could have made a much bigger sale on mm-hmm. the spot. Yeah. Um. But he really chose to guide me in the right way, which was, why don't we get you a lesson? You got a great instructor. Nice. I'll put you in touch with him. We'll get you a lesson, and then you can sort it all out mm-hmm. and decide where you're going to go from there. Cool. So I'm like, oh, okay, I, and you know, my I I was listening, you know, mm-hmm. and I. I wasn't like in resistance mode or anything. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Good idea. Text the dude. And it must have been maybe a week later, Mm -hmm. uh, Robbie and I get together Mm -hmm. for my first lesson. He brings me aboard and he takes me out and starts to show me what's going on. So was it anything like you thought it would be? No, <laughs> not really. What happened? I mean, it was hard, man. Yeah. Like you're paddling. Like if anybody's listening to this podcast, who's a surfer, they're probably just laughing, at laughing me. Like, their like, butts off. Right. They, you know, but it was, it was definitely challenging. It was yeah. much more physically challenging than I thought it would be. Cause there's a lot like, it's like 90% paddling. You got to get out there. You got to get out. You got to get to a place before you can even pop up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got it. I mean, you can surf the white water mm-hmm. inside, but, mm-hmm. um, you want to get out yeah. To surf, man. Like yeah. you want to take the drop, right? right. So you got to get out past the break and, and then you got to hold your position for wherever the wave is breaking. And then mm-hmm. if there's a current that's taking you, you know, one way or the other, right. like you're a rip or even, a, you know, a longshore current that's taking you one way or the other, you got to hold your position. So there's a lot of paddling for that. Oh, wow. And I'm paddling, paddling, paddling. But I was at two hours, I mean, 20 minutes, really 20 minutes into it, I was like, 
he, no, it was him. Robbie's like, Hey, how long do you think we've been out here? I'm like, God, dude, it's gotta be like over an hour. And he's like, yep, we've been out 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, so after, you know, after that, like I, and I caught a couple waves my mm-hmm. first time, you know, mm-hmm. so it was like, then that was worth it. That was worth it, right? You got it. That and that was even cooler than I thought. Mm, you, that's you, awesome. You take you get it at just the right spot. And you drop and, and then you you, popped up. You're, you're freaking your yoga, right? What didn't he say something like I've never seen someone pop up so easily? I had a good pop up. Yeah, good because your yoga. Yeah, yeah. Practice. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. before we even went out, you know, he walked me through the basics on the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, here's how you, you know, here's how you pop up. Mm-hmm. Here's your position on the board, kinda, you mm-hmm. know, so we can. Mm-hmm. refine it when we're out there but yeah it was really like he just refined it's it was all it's all fundamentals mm-hmm. there's all fundamentals at this point in the game you know there's your board position there's your tempo and then the, there's your timing your mm-hmm. position tempo and timing like yeah. that's it you know right. so that's all the fundamentals that really we've been working on and but yeah my pop-up was rocking but i i attributed that to the yoga for sure cool so we got out surfing, and, and I'm surfing now, mm-hmm. and, I'm, and I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. So, but here's the funny part. Okay, and this is this is the best ever. Is I'm so excited. I'm on the phone with my mother. Oh, how wait? So how long did you surf before you told your mom? Uh, probably a good month. And that at, would be why at least a month. I think it was at least. A, I think it was longer. It might have been a little bit longer than that. Yeah. I I don't know the exact number, but. Yeah, it was at least a month. Um, I'm not sure. I, 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 I think it was like two months. Well, whatever the case, <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone with her and having a great conversation. I'm like, and I was, I'm feeling more excited now. You right, because it's going well. You've been out several, several times. Yeah, many right? times, mm-hmm. and and I've got my little spot. And mm-hmm. I'm, you know, like I'm You're learning. It. You got your lessons. Yeah, and I'm having fun. There's been no sharks. No sharks. Yeah. I did see dolphins. You though. saw dolphins. Super That's cool. Great. Uh, but I'm on the phone with my mom and I'm like, hey, I finally started surfing. Mm-hmm. And that w- this was the moment of clarity. So <laughs> it it was, why? You're, and then just write down the list. Write down your list. Write right? down my list. You're going to get hurt. You're in the ocean. There's sharks in the ocean. <laughs> You're too old for that. You're going to drown. <laughs> They're going to make fun of you with all the other surfers. Everything right down the list. And I was like, I just started laughing. Oh I was like, God. oh my God, that's everything on my list was right there. You cleared it already, but she just vomited it back it to you. It was right back <laughs> out. You know, and it's so funny. But it, what it made me realize, too, is that, like, there are so many things mm. that are programmed into us that are totally just not yours and not needed. And the only reason that they're yours is because you've taken ownership because of them. Because you've taken them on. That's it. That's like, it, because you can't, you can't blame anybody else for their opinion or perceptions, but we can only hold the responsibility of what do we accept as ours. Right. What's it, our truth? It, 100%. I'm wow. not blaming my mom for any mm-hmm. of that, but it is. it was so stark. Mm-hmm. She went literally right down my wow. list wow. of every fear that I had had that was causing me not to actively avoid it, but to passively avoid mm. doing something that I really, really wanted to do. Yeah. Wow. So, and there it was just, just below the surface, just out of sight. And it really took some inquiry to kind of dredge that up and be like, well, what's really good? Dude, you know better. You're not doing this. Like, why are you not, you really want to do this? Freaking do it. Why aren't you doing it? Yeah. And there it was the whole laundry list of all the reasons why. And then to hear my mom. Oh my gosh. Spit them right back out. Almost verbatim to me, wow. right down the list. I was like, "Oh man, like Yikes. no wonder, Yikes. right?" So I guess that would be my question to everybody: is like, what one? What are you not doing that you really want to be doing? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, you know that there's something that you've been wanting to do for a that's long gonna time. It's going to light up your soul like nobody's business, but you just haven't taken that first step. Like, what is that thing? Yeah. Get real with that thing. And you know, that thing might not be surfing or running or skydiving. or Like it doesn't have to be this huge, I'm going to jump off a cliff with some sort of parachute on my back. It might be, I'm just going to be real. Like I just want to freaking be me and not worry about what anybody else thinks. That's what I really want. Yeah. It could be something really simple like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to 
do some writing or I want to, you know. Or I want a podcast. Maybe somebody want to do a podcast. Or, podcast or, or yeah. I want a blog or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just want to start I my own walk business. in the woods. Yeah, something. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. It's a little more like jumping off a cliff. But Yeah, people <laughs> like to jump off cliffs. Not me. You won't find me there on the cliff. No. No, not no. so much. Or no. even on a surfboard for that matter. Yeah, I'll be on a paddleboard, but that's cool. That's totally cool. That's me. Uh, that would be my first. What is it? Mm-hmm. What's the thing? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you want to be doing it. You're just not doing it. Mm-hmm. And then secondly is, is why? why? You, know, you have to do some inquiry. Why are you not like get real with yourself? Why are you not doing it? What are you afraid of? Yeah. And dig it up, you know, piece by piece, start to dig it up, clear out every last thing so that you can just go take that action cleanly and right. clearly. A lot of times people force themselves into things that, they want to do but they're not ready to do and they haven't really like Mm -hmm. they haven't really gotten to that place where they feel comfortable doing it not not even comfortable but just even like clear enough to go do it and then Mm -hmm. they wind up further traumatizing themselves Mm. so you know there is some clearing that's required in order to do that but at the end of the day you know that being said action is totally the middle finger to all the fear right so totally freaking do something go tweet that people action is the middle finger to fear and and put some money behind it yeah you know invest in yourself get a lesson get some coaching get whatever you need get whatever you mm-hmm. need you know if you want to do some writing buy yourself a really nice pen mm. you know buy yourself a great journal yeah do, like invest in something put some money behind it because the more that you do that, the more energy and focus that mm-hmm. you put towards it, and you'll take further action. Right, because as every, well, our philosophy, you've heard us talk about this, money is energy. Always. Right, it's part of the momentum. It is energy. Yeah, so you get in the flow with it. Mm-hmm. So that's our, that's I our, love that. yeah, that's our podcast for today. Yeah, so where are you surfing right now? How's it going? Well, I, I'm not going to share exactly where I surf, but. Well, why don't you share that story where you got pounded by like 10 waves? <laughs> 10, yeah, I did so well. <laughs> I was doing so well. It was a good day. And what happened was I caught... Because this is where you don't give up, everyone. This is where you don't, like, all of a sudden stop. Yeah, well, or you do because you're just like... Well, you go back out the next day. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got out two days Mm -hmm. later, but that particular day, Mm -hmm. it's towards the end of our lesson. I was out with Robbie, so it was with a lesson. Mm -hmm. And I caught caught my last wave, good wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, you know, I'm on it. I'm surfing it. I even... I'm you know, turn. Did you yell, dark yogi's coming? I didn't, I did not. <laughs> I did not yell anything. <laughs> I just smiled, I think. I was so happy. And I caught it and it, it was, it, then uh, you're off, right? And there was a choice point. And what I really needed to do was turn around and go right back out. Uh, right? Okay. Swim right back out and get past that first wave and then I would have been out. But what happened was I paused, uh, I hesitated and it was an anomaly of like a huge, like 10 mm. wave set that just came pounding and pounding. Mm-hmm. And then I'm trying to swim back out mm-hmm. and I'm getting crushed by the waves yeah. and trying to swim back out. And then finally I was just like, I, I was, I just called it, you know, I'd already been out for, you know, quite a while. Yeah. So called it, went back in, you know, Robbie and I talked it over and that was it. But mm-hmm. yeah, there's, you know, so many lessons. Yeah. Because you, you might take upon yourself to do what you really want to do, the passion, but... There's going to be some little bumps in the road. Like, yeah. But that's part of it, right? You overcome that. You see it. You assess it. You move through it. And it feels so good when you get to the other side. Well, for me, there's just like so many amazing metaphors for life in it. You know, mm-hmm. the ocean's constantly changing. The conditions are constantly changing. So is life. You know, one day you're out there and it's the best thing ever. You right. go out the very next day and it's like totally different, yeah. you know. And it's not anything like what the report said it was going to be. Right. Right. So one day said it was going to be great. I go mm-hmm. out. It's like total chop. I can't, you know, I couldn't hardly even swim past the break and I'm beating myself up swimming like feeling like Mm -hmm. an idiot you know and then I just decided well this sucks I think I'm just gonna surf some white water and have some fun awesome right so some of when I look at some of the lessons like few of the things that I've learned right off the bat having fun is definitely more important than doing it right Mm. in perfect action right just do it like just do it man man. go out and do it yeah and have fun doing it have a little bit of fun with it um, taking breaks is totally okay. Nice. You know, a lot of times people go after something, it's just like, and you go, go, go. And then all of a sudden you're like totally exhausted and you just, uh, like, I don't mm-hmm. know what to do. Take a freaking break. Yeah. It's totally okay to pause and reassess and then just reboot, get, reignite. Yeah. And get back into it. Like no mm. problem. Um, surfing for mm-hmm. sure. Expect to fall. Oh, you know, expect to fall. 
expect this word failure that's being thrown around a lot. People are so afraid of failure. What I mean, you would never be a better surfer if you didn't fall or fail. You're, well, pretty much every time you get up, you're going down. Right. You know, sometimes you dive off, but lots yeah. of times you fall. Like yeah. you're going to fall. My first that's time right. out, I'm just trying to stay centered on the board. So you can never get good at anything without having those little falls or failures. You're always going to fall. Love no, it. No problem, right? And the last one for me, this one was definitely more like mm -hmm. relevant to me, uh, was getting at the o ocean, getting angry at the ocean is not helpful. No, I, I would think not. Because there was a few days where I'm trying to swim out and the waves are pounding me and I just, I couldn't like, there, that's a, there's a whole art into how to swim past the break and everything like that. And I'm getting pounded and it's just not fun and I'm getting a little angry and, uh, it just is totally yeah. not helpful. Omni divine love, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Highest <laughs> frequency ever. So those are my initial lessons in surfing. and uh, I love it. So everyone out there, if there's something you haven't done that you really want to do, go do it. Go freaking do it. Freaking do it, man. Have fun. Put a smile on your face. Fall, fail, whatever it is, and get back up and keep doing it and know that like it's juice for life. You know, it's really food for life. It lights me up in every yeah. other area. Yeah. yeah, your field will expand. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Awesome, everyone. Thanks for being here, Kism the Dark Yogi. And hey, if there's anyone that you want to share this podcast with that you might think would love it, we would love it if you would do so. Go ahead, download, rate, review, and we'll see you really soon. Namaste.